call me your honey or your honey, your sugar, your sugar bowl, and my favorite, your chocolate drop. I like that. And you like to put your hands on me, but not to cause me any injury. You like to rub my ball head. You like to place your hand on my shoulder. You like to feel my bicep when I come from the gym to see if it got any bigger. It has. And you like to place your hand on my thigh, not to start anything. Okay, but not all the time. And you like to walk hand in hand down Michigan Avenue because you're proud to be with me. And as good and positive as all those things are, that's strange to me. Look up on my dark skinned face, you can see the tears that are inevitably etched and have not dried yet. Look inside my heart, you can see lacerations, even when they got stitches from it, they still burn fresh from the pain and suffering that came before you got here. So I ask you, as I take my baggage and take it to the baggage plane, as I get my mind right, my heart right, waiting for me, now bring it down so let me talk to you. I know I ask a lot by asking you to wait for me, but I only ask because you're worthy. And I'm not saying that because I'm some prize or some egomaniac, no. I'm saying that because one, when I look at you, you're beautiful. With my eyes open, eyes closed, my glasses on, my glasses off, wide awake, get sleep, I see you, you're beautiful. Hey, men can't even walk down the street or drive correctly because when they take just a glance at you, they see you. And you're beautiful. And you know women can be a tad bit catty, but even they reluctantly, when they look at you, they say, oh my God, she's beautiful. And you got God all over you. And I'm not talking about the fact that you can recite Psalms or Revelations. You go to Bible study on Wednesday, choir practice on Thursday, you arrive early, you go to sunrise service, you come late and sit in the overflow. No, I'm talking about that everything you say and do exudes God-like qualities. So I'm asking you to wait for me. Now I know that I'm deficient, I got things to work on. So as soon as I make my half good, I can make it with your good half and we can form one great whole. So I ask you to wait for me. And if not this lifetime, maybe the next lifetime, wait for me. And if not the next lifetime, maybe five lifetimes away, wait for me. Maybe you're a bird in the sky and I'm a bird in the sky, wait for me. Maybe you're a beagle and I'm a beagle, wait for me. Maybe you're a drop of water in the Atlantic Ocean and I'm a drop of water in the Pacific Ocean. We gotta go up in the air through osmosis. Come back down, it's rain. Land in a pond somewhere near Pleasantville. Wait for the breeze to blow on a Sunday morning for us to finally meet again. And if that be the case, wait for me. Because love inside this man, inside this man, is hard for no one but you. Wait for me. My poem. Freaky 
so-and-so who you'll see later on. He's the feature next week. He's a freaky bastard. Just trust me on that one. Um, but I got to shout out my new friend out of uh, His brother showed me how to love. He has changed the landscape of spoken word in Chicago single-handedly. He's come with this movie, and I'm glad to know him and be a part of what he's going on. That's that dude right there, Prince of Pain.
See, my dick is Michael Jordan. I dump all in the pussy. Windmill, tomahawk, under the leg, my elbow hanging out of you. Makes the pussy tremble in bed. Two point swish, three point swish. This pussy pleasure I feel will have you coming back to back to back. Woo! To back. I get the pussy dripping wet. Girl, I came too. But this slam dunk contest, <laughs> oh baby, it's far from over yet. All Star Slam, that's that piece. Title of this next piece, which I usually do into music. Is it? Title of this next piece is called Duology or the Study of You. You'll understand why I titled it that.
next piece is another instrumental. This piece is for the fellas. The title of this next piece is called What You Won't Do.
frustrated because I was locked up like a caged beast for 10 years. The dick is crying in tears. Tears of sorrow and pain. The dick is going insane from the loss of pussy in his life. And incarcerated brothers, they know my struggle. No more rubbing it out. Can't stroke the pole, beat the lead, or jerk it off. I did that shit so much, my arm's about to fall off. I want some penetration. I want to shoot babies in a hot, bush potion. Deep sea dive in the ocean. See, I got a need for Gucci to sit on my face. Tongue on that pearl, swirl, lick, suck, smirk, tongue, fuck. Make it squirt like mess. As that sweet, juicy nectarine drips beta carotene down the face. Girl, I want you hot, horny, and bothered. I'll pound your pussy so hard you'll be screaming for your father to save you once this car is inside that highway tunnel. Never in park or neutral, overdrive and reverse, it will stay, switching lanes, plowing down your wet highway, filling you with pleasure. Crashing into your G-spot treasure, making your teeth clench, toes curl, body twitch, legs begin to shake as you moan, groan, louder and louder like a fat girl of a strawberry shortcake. I got a thought, this burning desire to erupt like a volcano in your mouth, on your face, the eternal kiss Let the food in my hands off your face. Yes, baby. Come swap. Come swap. It's never out of place. I'm a beast in the sheets. Pervert in the bed. Freak when I'm in between your legs. Ready and willing. Anything goes. Girl, I suck toes. I don't even eat your food. I'm a real man not afraid to express his exotic, erotic needs. I can't get no satisfaction. So, Faith, are you the one that can please? <laughs> Engine churning 
and turn harder and harder, faster and faster. <laughs> the pressure is becoming too much. But you don't care, because food, food, food is here. It's there. It's everywhere. So you continue to eat on potato chips, hot crunchy curls, Doritos, and such. You crunch and munch on crunch and munch and drink a Hawaiian punch. Sharp pain in the left side of the chest. <coughs> Eating is what is best. The food is so good, so good. The food, good, the food is so. You are greedy. You eat moan and moan and moan and moan. You pick out black out. Like the DVD player that's been put on pause. Your body has been jolted. The engine that pumps life through your veins has overheated, begun to smoke. You fall down to your knees, shake, shiver, croak. From heart attack, stroke. Paramedics resuscitate, bring you back to life. Numbness on your left side, blindness in your eyes, inability to speak. Can't feel your left cheek. Dizziness ensues. Paralysis has taken over you. <laughs> now you're dying to live when you were living to die. And just the malnutrition which brought on your demise. <laughs> Eating because the food is there. Not for body nourishment and care. It is not fair to the body, God's holy temple. Hypertension settles. Diabetes precinct. Daily insulin shots become your best friend. Organs are engines. Keep them oiled and clean. Diet exercise is their gasoline to keep them operating through the obstacles of life. It's the body's fuel for life. Your body is a kingdom. You are his king or queen, so don't be mean. Stay fit and lean. Cherish your castle. The lords, dukes, knights, and yes, those peasants too. Be good to them, and they will most definitely be good to you. Thank you, that's that piece.